What's up? This is Naked Eli, the most young clothes gamer, here with the Pillar of Autumn Legendary Speedrun Guide. However, I'm not going to focus on the speedrun, although you guys, I hope, will enjoy it. I first want to talk about a couple news items, primarily what's in the video title, which is that I learned, life goal complete, that Xbox actually named an achievement after me in Master Chief Collection. So it's called Naked Tyrant. It's a shout out to me, Naked Eli, and Tyrant, which is Mythic Tyrant, who used to do a lot of lasso guides for Halo 3, Reach, and Halo 4. So the achievement is to complete the Halo 4 lasso playlist, essentially. So sort of a little nudge in our direction to say, hey, make some lasso guides, help everybody out, help everybody get these achievements, which is what I've historically been known for. And so this Pillar of Autumn run is sort of an example of the type of content that I'll be creating is it's uh, speed runs, but I'm not really going for the world record. I'm not taking super, super hyper risky routes like I'm used to doing. Um, I'm very aggressive in my style, but I'm also very safe. And so I wanted to create a legendary guide that was fast and basically cautious and safe and that the average player could use them to get through every single Halo game on Legendary. And also in that regard, I'm uh, starting to stream a lot now. So I have my Xbox One streaming feature is super easy. I press a button and I go live. If you haven't checked out my channel, it's twitch.tv slash naked Eli. That's N-A-K-3-D underscore E-L-I. And basically, when this game launches, Master Chief Collection, I'm going to be speedrunning Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 all in one sitting on the first day of launch. So basically, um, right now, all I'm doing with my life is practicing speedrunning. That's how I did this Pillar of Autumn run. I've always loved speedruns. I've always watched every single new world record that's come out on High Speed Halo. Uh, which used to be High Impact Halo and now is Halo Runs and I follow that community even though they don't know that I sort of watch their stuff and basically I didn't realize how alive the, the Halo speedrunning community is right now and I've been sort of picking up new techniques for these missions that have never been done before. So hopefully you guys will enjoy my runs. I've also put in obviously my own touch into things and uh, basically I think this will be really useful for the average player as well as skilled players to not only get through the campaigns but to also get every single achievement in the Master Chief Collection which there are hundreds of them for 4,000 gamer score. It's really, really insane. So that's all the major news items that I wanted to share with you guys. We have the that A, Naked Eli has his own achievement so now I can go tell people that I have my own Xbox achievement which is pretty sick. And then I'm also speedrunning Halo 1 through 4 on Legendary, and you guys can watch that stream to see. It really is going to be modeled off of all the runs that are no death single segment completions. So what that means is that I'm watching like um, my buddy Slinky's Halo 1 no death single segment. He did it in an hour 52, which is slow compared to the current world record of 132 and a few seconds, but... At the same time, his strategies are extremely consistent. Um, very, like more people can pull off what he does in his speed run because it's safer. It's meant to be that you don't die in the entire game. Obviously, it takes a lot of work to actually execute a full game, no death. But what we're basically doing is minimizing risk. And so I really want my legendary speedruns, as you're seeing in this Pillar of Autumn run, to minimize risk. Notice that right there, for example, I let my shields recover before charging forward. If you were going for a world record, you would never be able to do that. But if you're just showing people how to get through it smoothly, consistently, and with skill, then that's an example of something that you would do. And those are the kinds of plays that I want to be able to make, right? Safe plays, waiting for the grenades to go off, picking off the enemies in each of these encounters instead of doing what the current Pillar of Autumn World Record does, which is only, you know, like four minutes and something seconds, like 18 seconds. Um, there he basically relies on one grenade per battle to either distract or kill every enemy and just run straight through. Right, but you can't do that if you're going for a single segment run with no deaths or if you're just streaming to an audience because you'd have to restart that mission or portions of that mission over and over and over and over and over because you're just going to die so much with that strategy. But when you eventually pull it off, then you have the world record, right? So that's sort of a difference in style between um, single segment, segmented, and ILs or, or basically shooting for the individual level world record runs. All right, so that's a lot. We got about a minute left here. Um, 
yeah, basically, I hope everyone's having a good, good life, good days these days. School started up again. I've been tutoring a bunch of people and um, basically just practicing my Halo, played a lot of Destiny. If you've been following my Twitter at all, you know that I did a bunch of world record stuff in that, like was the world's first four-man raid and uh, was the world's first five-man raid with no deaths and uh, was one of the world's first 30s and probably the most stacked warlock in that game. But I've sort of run out of content to do in Destiny and uh, now seeing how much content there is to do in the Master Chief collection with all the achievements as well as having my own achievement to go for and to make guides for, um, my heart was just immediately drawn back to Halo. And uh, I guess I'll just say it again that I never, because people always say, they're like, man, you thought Destiny is going to be a bad game. And I never said I thought it was going to be a terrible game. I said, I think it's going to be an okay game that's fun to play. It's definitely a AAA title worth buying. But I don't think it's going to be the 11 out of 10 that we all maybe thought it would be initially before we were able to play test the alpha, the pre-alpha, the beta, etc. And so everything that I thought would happen with that game sort of came true. You know, it lacked a story and the gameplay was really fun, but it didn't have a ranking system and the matchmaking was really not balanced at all. So now I'm back to Halo and I'm going to start making vids for you guys. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Peace.